See all that swirling in the water? Those are differences between sand heights, reef heights, current. Since this is the middle of a sand channel that's in between two reefs that are separated by maybe 150 yards. That is what you want to fish in. Those little ripples on the surface will stir up the bottom, brings up food up to the small fish, and the big fish come in to feed on the small fish. But that is what you want to look for, is little disturbances in the water. Creamer in the morning. Got a nice little hit. Whoa, he's taking line. He's taking line. Woo! Not bad, he's taking some line. Nice steady pull. Fishing in a nice sand channel between two reefs right now. A lot of eddies and currents here. I was fishing the eddies about maybe 120 feet or so offshore when I had this big hit. Just took off and ran, but now it's kind of holding its own. Might be a papil, might be a moi. We'll see what it is. But I don't want to overhorse it. Don't want to rip the hook out. He's running the shoreline, going back and forth. See those little eddies in the back of that line? That's where I originally hooked him, about a little more than 100 feet out. Okay, he's shaking his head, he's coming into the shore, coming into the sand. Still can't tell what it is. Well, I can see the bead now. Don't know what it is, though. I see color, it looks like an omilu. Yeah, it looks like an omilu. Sure looks like it. Whoa, he's picking up. He don't like the shoreline. <laughs> oh, there he goes, there he goes. Woo! What a nice little run this guy's giving me. Yeah, it's definitely an Amilu. Using my Stratic 3000 CI4 with my Okuma steel head rod. You can see it right there. Oh, come here. Oh, he's still, still running. Don't want to force him. Just bring him in gradually. There, cinch up on the drag, bring, toss him in. And there we got it. We have us and a nice size umilo. Early in the morning, fantastic. Cool. 